What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nerd again, coming at you with another Arcage Unchained tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to get that Hiram gear that everyone talks about and how to get it super easy. So what we're going to be doing to get this gear is upgrading the beginning explorer's gear that we got from those chests early on doing our green race specific quests. And we're going to upgrade it to the point where we can awaken it using these Hiram Awakening scrolls that we get from those green storyline quests once we're high enough level. What Hiram gear is, is essentially the second or third best set of gear in the game. It is really easy to acquire and relatively cheap to upgrade. And that's what makes it so great. You'll be able to stay competitive without having to play tons and without having to spend an arm and a leg to get gear. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you all the steps of upgrading that gear, hoping for the right stats, breaking it down if you don't get the right stats, and then finally using that Hiram Awakening Scroll to turn that piece of gear into a Hiram piece. Before we get too far into it, please drop a like and subscribe if you like my channel. Leave a comment below if you have any suggestions. I'm always open to suggestions and will try to use them in my future videos as best as possible. All right. Let's get into it. Whew, choir is hard to say. And look at that giant creepy floating eye. I have no idea why I'm getting quests from this giant creepy floating eye. I feel like you're an enemy. I don't know if I should trust you, but hey, you just gave me almost 30,000 experience, so what the heck, why not? Well, time to make some Hiram gear, guys. Is it Hiram? 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 I'm gonna call it Hiram. If I'm saying it wrong and butchering the pronunciation, well, I'm sorry. I hope you know what I'm talking about. I mean, H-I-R-A-M. Okay, so what you're gonna see me doing is buying these adventurers, even stones from the blacksmith. What they do is they will break the explorer's gear down and reward all of those infusions and awakening scrolls that you used on them back into your inventory. After you do that, you're going to lose that explorer's, say, weapon in this case, because I'm going to be breaking my great axe down. Because I'm a dark runner, my weapon's my most important piece, so I want to have a hero weapon or a hero great axe first. But you're going to see that I'm going to lose my axe, get all the infusions and scrolls back. Don't worry, though. What you can do is you can just buy any explorer's piece minus the actual instruments, which is kind of annoying, from the weaponsmith or the armor smith, actually the weapon merchant or the armor merchant, which in this case in Marianople happens to be right next to the blacksmith. So I'm gonna break that ax down using the adventurer's even stone. I'm gonna get all my infusions and my scrolls back because that ax doesn't have the stats that I want, the perfect stats. I want strength and defense pen or strength, melee crit rate, strength, melee crit damage, and I was rocking stamina and I can't remember what else it was and I had used all my rerolls so I didn't have any. Now each piece of gear, each piece of explorer's gear and eventually Hiram gear has rerolls on it. What that does is that allows you to replace one of the stats and randomly roll a new stat in that place. Now you can only have up to five rolls at a time on any given piece so if you have five and you're about to tear it up and get a six, then you could use one, but that's neither here nor there. Essentially, the one thing to remember is that you want to make sure that you have five on a piece of gear before you actually awaken it to hero. Because once it becomes hero, you can't undo anything. Your, your hero gear is stuck. You can't use an adventurous even stone to break it down, get all your infusions and scrolls back anymore. That's hero and it's staying hero. So that's why you're going to see me breaking my axe down over and over again here. Getting that adventurous even stone, breaking it down, leveling it up with the infusions and awakening it until I get the right stats. Rinse and repeat till I get the right stats. Pain in the butt, I know, but it's going to save a lot of pain and suffering in the future. And it's going to save a lot of money because it's dirt cheap to do it like this at this level. So you're going to see me break it down again. Get all my stuff back. I'm gonna go to the weapon merchant, buy a new great axe, 
what is it five silver ten silver five silver five silver for the ventures even stone ten silver total nothing all right so i get the great axe I'm gonna throw some infusions into it. I'm gonna level it up. I'm gonna then awaken it with the scroll and see what stats I get. I'm gonna hope for strength first. And like I said, defense pan, melee crit rate, or melee crit damage second. And then once I get that combination and I have all my rerolls, then I'll tear it all the way up and turn it into a hero piece. Now the reason you want to have those five rerolls is because when it turns into a hero piece, you get a third stat. And you want to have as many chances as possible to get that third stat to be the perfect stat. That way you have essentially the perfect piece of gear. Gear that is going to make you as effective as possible. So you see I have strength and I have attack speed. What I'm actually doing here is rerolling my attack speed one time because uh, crit heal rate that's no good because you can only stack up to five rerolls so during that that would be that third tier before it goes to hero you can actually use one of your rerolls to try to get your second stat to be an ideal stat before breaking it down because you will get three rerolls at the second tier and then three reroll charges in the third tier and three plus three is six. So if you don't use one, you essentially lose one. So if you don't get the perfect second stat, you can use one reroll to try to reroll it before breaking it down and starting this painful process all over again. So I'm gonna skip ahead and get to the point where I have a nice ax here that has strength and defense pen. I'm gonna level it all the way up and then I'm going to use that awakening scroll to turn it into a hero max and I'm gonna Basically cross my fingers and hope that I get a really nice hero max. If not, it's okay because I have five re-rolls to re-roll that third stat. I'm sure you're getting tired of me repeating myself, but you're about to see what I'm talking about. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed. We're going to hope that our third stat is something good and not crit heal rate anymore. What do we got? We got magic defense pen. Completely worthless. Worthless stat, but that's fine because we have five re-rolls. So... Ooh, look at that. That is a pretty axe. I love that axe. So I'm going to use one of my rerolls or well, however many it takes to get something that's better than magic defense pen. And essentially pretty much anything is better than magic defense pen. So when you go into the synth synthesis effect, you could just tab over to that replace effects, put, put your piece of gear in there and then you can reroll one of the stats. Make sure you're clicking the stat you want to reroll. Here we got melee crit rate, perfect. So I'm gonna keep that as it is for now. If I decide to change my mind later, I'll change my mind. I might reroll it for melee crit damage. I might reroll defense pen. Who knows? But I'm pretty happy with the way things are here with this Hiram piece. And that's how you get Hiram gear super easy. You get it from leveling up that Explorer's gear that you get from the beginning of the game. As you do your green race specific quest, you're going to get those infusions and those awakening scrolls to tear that gear up. And eventually when you get far enough in that line of quests, you're gonna get those awakening scrolls to turn that gear into that Hiram gear. So what I'm gonna do now is show you myself going through the same process with some armor because there's one annoyance with the armor that really bugs me that I wanna show you, but it's essentially the same thing over and over again. Same exact thing that I did with the weapon. All right, so what you're gonna see me doing here is the exact same process with my armor. I'm gonna start with my chest piece because the chest piece has the highest gear score to offer of any of the armor pieces. And the highest gear score pieces should be upgraded first. That way you can keep your overall gear score as high as possible, making your character as strong and effective as possible. So you're gonna see me buy the same Adventurer's Evenstone. I'm gonna use it on my armor just like I use on my weapon. I'm gonna get all my infusions back, get my awakening scrolls back. Then I'm gonna buy a new piece and do it all over again. Now, the one annoying part about doing this with the armor is that you can't just buy that one piece of armor again. You actually have to buy a pack that holds all seven pieces of armor. So if you have limited pack space like I do, you're going to have to de destroy six pieces of armor every single time that you buy a pack because you didn't get the right stats for that one piece. Make sure you have enough labor when you're doing it because this is where I ran out of labor after doing my weapon and chest piece and then trying to do the helm. 
when you go to the armor merchant, don't worry about the name of the pack. The only thing you need to worry about is what type of armor you're buying. If you want cloth, get cloth. If you want leather, get leather. If you want plate, get plate. The names, all that does is each pack has a different graphic at that first tier, but it all changes to the same graphic and same name and same stats once you awaken it anyways, so no big deal. Here we got seven pieces of armor. I'm gonna try to get my chest piece up. I'm gonna have to destroy all six other pieces so I have some pack space left over. I'm gonna rinse and repeat just like we do with the weapon until I have the right stats that I want. For me, I'll be like strength and resilience. You'll have to do some research and figure out what stats are good for your class. And once you do that, you can reroll your armor as many times as you need for dirt cheap. The only thing that takes is time until you get the right stats. When you get the right stats, use that tier three awakening scroll to level it up to Hiram as long as you're level 50. And boom, you got a full set of Hiram gear that'll get you above 3K gear score easy for dirt cheap. And you'll be able to play with the big boys. All right, thanks for watching my video. If you like my content, please hit that like button. If you want to keep watching my videos, you can hit that subscribe button. I'm going to have a new video coming out every week. I'm going to start focusing on Arcage tutorials, maybe put some PvP videos out there once I start PvPing. Till next time, see you guys.